Hello, uh, this is an unboxing um, for a case. Uh, you can obviously spend hundreds and hundreds of pounds on cases. This one was 50. Um, so let's just see what it's like. Uh, it's the AeroCool Rift BG case. I'll just flip it up so you can see the label on it. Like that. So it says includes 120 mil fan, um, USB 3 and USB 2. HD audio mic ports and that's the um, product details there part the PI number whatever that means uh, model name Rift BG uh, how much it weighs in case you're interested <laughs> uh, here's the back of it so you can see there it's got various information on it I don't know how well you can see that I should be able to read that if you pause it and zoom in a bit uh, basically it's saying about the drive bays and things like that um, and what power supplies it can fit in it and how long the graphics card can be. Um, so anyway, uh, there is a conspicuous sticker on the box there, which is um, an RGB sticker. Because this one um, has got RGB on it. If I flip it up, it's also got um, a tick on the tempered glass bit. Uh, includes PSU, no. Card reader, yes. Interesting. And the case colour is black. So anyway enough twiddling it around let's get it open and um, have a look inside I'll just cut the seals on it well, seals is it the tape be a bit careful when you're going along the top you don't want to cut too deeply open and the trick is not to lift the case out of the box but to lift the box off the case so we'll just do that like that just gonna move around here and have a look just oh no it's not gonna work I'll go back where it was <laughs> there we are yeah see so lift the box off the case rather than trying to get the case out of the box and that's that. I'll just chuck that box out of the way. And I'll work out which is the top and which is the bottom. That's the bottom, so we'll do that one first. Because hopefully that's where they will have wrapped it. And they have look. So if I take the bottom off, it's got some quite big feet, which is quite good because it means it lifts it right off the, the surface. So there's a bit of a conspicuous air intake on the bottom. You meant to mount the PSU with the fan facing down. So I'm just going to flip it over, take the top off, take the bag off, and we'll put all that in the box. And there it is. So what can you see? Nice glass panel. Is it thumb tight? Uh, no, it isn't. That's annoying. I have to get a screwdriver. Hang on. I'm going to swap, just swap the bit on it as well. Because I've got the wrong bit on. Put that in there. Right. I'm just going to loosen them. Oh, they're quite tight. And we'll take those out. Now, it doesn't look like it's got a lip. So presumably, when I undo the last one, it will fall off. Well, let's just see what it does. Oh, yes, you can see it's going to fall off. So I need to be a little bit careful what I do here. I'm just going to undo that. I should probably lay it down flat. That <laughs> might have been more sensible. Uh, so I'm just going to take that out there. Now these have got little rubber grommets on them. I don't know how well you can see that. See, it's got a little rubber on. So that's a nice touch. Although the more expensive cases will have the grommets built onto the case, and then you sort of hook the, the panel onto the grommets, and it sits there while you try and screw it in. This will just, yeah, that's just going to fall off. So that's not the most elegant of solutions, but 50 quid, we can't really complain. Um, it's tough and glass, and it's got plastic film on both sides so I'm just going to move that out of the way 
it's sort of it's got sort of a grey tinge to it so it's not it's not frosted but it is sort of tinted right so the first thing we notice is um an information leaflet i can't really call it a manual so there it is there tells you about the front panel what connectors you've got and what's in the accessory bag and on the back is um, about the drive bays and things and this one's oh there's the card reader on the top oh that's pretty funky so it has actually got a card reader um, LED mode switch so there's an LED mode switch so the LEDs are built into the case and there's a little switch that you can press to cycle through it hold for two seconds to turn off right okay so it's got LEDs but they're not perhaps as controllable as some people might like uh, this is fitted in with a cable tie so I'm just gonna undo it you probably can't see it that well because of the way the lights are there's another cable tie as well so I'm just gonna undo that right so two cable ties um, I think I'll take the back panel off. Oh, those are thumb tight. So I quite like that. So they come off. So I'm going to take that back side panel off. That's a bit flimsy. Bit flimsy, but 50 quid. Can't really complain. Because it will do a job. And then I'm going to lay it down flat. We should get a better view. Oh, there's no weight to that at all. It's really light. Um, and here's the accessory bag. Just move that over there a little bit. Here's the accessory bag. So what have we got in there? Cable ties. Six cable ties. And a bag of screws. There are no motherboard. Oh, we've got, yeah. Um, um, hmm. Might make sense just to tip these out. So I've got a little pot here, and I'll just tip them all out, and we'll see what we've got. And I'll tilt the camera down. And, right, so that's what we've got in there. Got a whole load of quite long, obviously, radiator screws. It's got the radiator and fan, so there's two four, six, eight of those. And we've got a couple of risers. Which thread do they have? They have the standard thin thread, so that fits on there. So it's got these screws here, which have got quite a big thread on them. Oops, that was a good shot. Um, are these all the same? Because sometimes they mix them up and you get different threads on the risers. I think these look all the same. There are, I've noticed there are some pre-fitted, probably Micro ATX. So those are all standard thread at the moment anyway. There's quite a lot of them. Maybe that, yeah, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's nine risers, a whole load of different screws. You've got the main chunky power supply type screws a few of those I don't think you need to count them is there <laughs> there's enough of these finer thread ones with a big flat head on them so they, they should be for that so you get the usual number of screws of which you're going to get some left over but you should keep them anyway so we'll just put those back in there and stop everything from getting lost now let's look in here now first thing you notice is there's a rather conspicuous power connector there that will presumably be for the LEDs there's a 120 mil fan on the back there it's an aero core branded one it's, it, ooh, it's got a molex on it see that wow uh, it's got three wires so it's not PWM so it's a standard fan so that'll probably go but it's nice for them to include it it's brand aero cool branded it's got a sticker on it next thing we're going to look at is where I was on the end of this 
and that's the USB card reader, so that goes to a USB 2 port. And then there's this, which will be the uh, USB 2s, the actual USB 2s, because there's USB 2s on the top, which we'll look at in a second. So we'll get those out of the way. And then you've got a USB 3, standard blue one, and then your various motherboard services, power reset. What there isn't, there isn't an LED control cable. So the LEDs are obviously powered by the button on the top, which is that. So you've got that one there, that one there, and you've got power, that, that, and that's the card reader. So you use SD card, so I quite like that. USB 3, USB 2, headphone and mic. So that's obviously the power. That will be the, uh, that's reset. So which one of those does the LEDs in? Ah, LED, duh. That one says LED on it. So you press and hold it and that cycles the power. So that's kind of good in some ways, but not in others. It's good because it's independently controlled. You know, I haven't got to run any software. Uh, and of course you can turn it off if you want to. Um, it's bad in that you can't control it. Um, and that's about it really. So yeah, if you're looking to get an, a, a full on bling LED, then obviously that's not gonna work because you're not gonna be able to synchronize it. Um, the more expensive cases like the NZXT have a separate controller built in. And if you get the i version, it's pretty cool. I've done a few videos on that. They are rather nice and it's all pre-wired and everything, which makes even makes everything better. Now, for some reason, they've got drive bays there, look. I don't know how I can see that, but there's they've cut they've cut out the front in there for five and a quarter inch. But there's obviously no way to access them. Because that doesn't come off. That's a solid piece of plastic. There are screws, so you, I think, oh, I don't know. It's not really gonna work, is it? So they've obviously taken a standard case design and just put the front on it. There's also a shroud down here for the power supply, which doesn't look like it's removable. That's not removable. I mean, it's got, no, there's a rivets. My hand is there, it's riveted. Don't need to look to see if it's a screw because I can feel it's a rivet. So that that shroud there is not removable. So you have to put the power supply in. There, in it goes. But you do get a couple of trays should you want to put in some three and a half inch drives in there. But what that'll probably get used for the you know the excess cables to get stuffed in there, won't they? So that's kind of good that you got trays. They might rattle a bit. It has got a way of a screw. So I think you can, does it line up? Yeah, I don't know how well you can see right into there, but where the drive bays are there, it's not the best illumination, is it? Where the drive bays are, you've got a screw hole in the actual um, caddy, and that screw hole does line up. But obviously, you, <laughs> if you screw it in, you're gonna have to remove the power supply to get it out again. And you're gonna have to screw it in before you put the, so the order that you do things um, matters, but we've learned that, haven't we? Uh, right, so there are one, two, three, four. There's four risers already fitted. There is a cutout plate at the back so that you can get access to behind the motherboard. So if you do change the heatsink over, you haven't got to take the whole thing apart. There is an SSD mount on the back there. That says it's an SSD mount, so you could screw an SSD in there. And they provide screws for that. And there's another SSD mount there, it says there SSD. So um, yeah, that's it. Aero cool branding on the front. Uh, any um, questions about it, just drop them in the comments. Um, I'm going to be making a machine using this case. Um, it's a budget gaming machine. Um, so at the end of the video, there'll be a picture of it. <laughs> and maybe a quick demonstration of what it looks like when it's all powered up and all set up. But uh, yeah, if you have any questions, just drop in the comments. Uh, at this point, I would normally say liking and subscribing is appreciated because it is. But obviously keep watching to see what this looks like when I build it. Okay, thanks a lot.
And there we are, that's it built. As promised, we'll have a little chat about it. So let's fire it up anyway, you can see on the screen in the background. So we'll turn it on. And we'll start it up. So, um, yeah, uh, the case. <laughs> There's a couple of things I want to mention. Um, the actual LEDs on the front, as you can see, are quite good. And there is actually a little button here which is just out of camera, so that's helpful. So if I twiddle it, you can see there's actually a button on the top. Like that. And you can see that changes the colour. And what I can do is I can press it, and it cycles through the sort of different modes it'll do. And um, that one's quite a good look. That's like a rainbow one. And you get that sort of thing, and then that. Now, in case you're wondering, this could get annoying. You're right, it could get annoying. But luckily, there aren't that many to choose from when we're back at the start. And if you press and hold it for like two seconds, it turns them off. So, <laughs> 50 quid, loving that. So just turn that back on. Another thing to mention is um, when you are putting the motherboard in, uh, I'll stop recording and I'll take the side panel off for this so we can have a better look at it. And here we are. So, uh, <laughs> first thing to notice is the actual side panel on the back is quite thin metal, so it's a bit of a fiddle to get it on and off. It's not quite as, you know, sort of chunky and, and refined as you get more expensive cases. But seeing as you're just going to put the side panel off and then put it back on again and then leave it on, that doesn't matter, does it? But this is what I'm talking about um, here. With the, the cable for the motherboard CPU power, not the main ATX, the other one, you have to poke that through the hole at the top before you put the motherboard in. Otherwise, there isn't enough room to sort of poke it through after that. So that's just a little tip there. Apart from that, everything just works fine. And it is possible to sort of move things around so that you can hide the cables quite nicely, but it's, you know, it's dark in there anyway, so it doesn't matter, does it? But apart from that, for 50 quid, you can't really go wrong. I've removed the, the, the rear, I've removed the rear fan. Um, Cause it, they don't, with the fat hole on the top, you might as well just let natural convection suck all the hot air out. Another thing I've noticed with it is that when it's powered up, there is an LED on the top, which you can't see. So we'll just take the camera off the stand and show you. So um, that there is the button for the LEDs that I was pressing. And then that one there is a card reader. And then you've got USB 2 and then USB 3. Luckily, that's one connector, that's one connector, and that's one connector. And most motherboards have a USB 3 and then they have two USB 2. So that's worked out quite well. So that card reader actually works. There's also a power LED right there. Problem with that, <laughs> so it's not a problem, it's just something I've noticed, is that that LED projects onto the ceiling quite well. So you get a, a sort of a blue thing on there. I'll show you that in a second. Um, but the button itself is quite nice. Every, every, yeah, it's 50 quid. You can't really go wrong. So I'll turn the main um, sort of light I've got in here off just to show you that that's the camera releasing just to show you that if I go up here <laughs> there's a blue light on the ceiling um, yeah notice that another thing I noticed is there's little these are little stickers they put on there and they can come off so when you put the thing back on make sure that those are still there um because you can lose them and these um so sometimes they get stuck to that the little screws uh, but apart from that it's quite good um but these are the kind of things you only notice when you're first assembling the machine so once you've assembled it obviously that's it done isn't it <laughs> so so for 50 quid yeah really good especially it's got that little card reader in it and the leds on the front are quite cool so i'm quite impressed by this case um if you've got any questions or or sort of anything you want to ask then feel free um i reply to all my comments 
Um, and as ever, liking and subscribing is appreciated. And thanks for watching.